Hello Taurus. <clears throat> this is your reading for July. Um, this reading is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's go ahead and just get right into this. For my Taurus friends, what is going on with you guys this month? I know we're seven days in, but it is still July. So here we go, guys. What is going on around my Taurus? What's going on? We have the Ace of Wands there. There's a new star. There's there's somebody that I feel like you are um, attracted to. <coughs> and this just kind of started. You guys may have met somebody new even. Okay. But um, there's definitely a spark there. Something has sparked your interest here with this Ace of Wands energy. And this could involve an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius individual. Or this could be all about... Um, just you having new ideas as well and starting uh, a new business or a new um, venture. Okay, let's see what's crossing you. What's crossing Taurus? We have a Five of Swords here. That's Aquarius's energy. Hmm. For some reason, I feel like there's something um, that has just started that's making you a tad bit uncomfortable. Okay, something that you, I feel like you guys are kicking against because it just makes you uncomfortable, but at the same time, you're interested in it. There's a there's something kind of weird going on here. Let's get a little bit further into this. What is the foundation for Taurus's reading here? And we have the Two of Pentacles not being quite sure of what to do kind of going back and forth some of you are giving somebody the impression that you like them one day and then the next day um, you're not interested and this may be because you guys already have something going on or you have a lot of responsibilities um, is something that you may feel like you don't have time or room for something else. But some of you are feeling like you don't want any trouble. It's like you feel it starts off pretty good or it starts off like with this strong magnetic attraction and then it leads down this road of torment. <laughs> so you're thinking ahead for some of you, okay? Like it feels good, but you feel like eventually it's going to end up in the gutter. And I think that's why, you know, you're you're kind of kicking against it here. Okay? That Capricorn energy there with the Two of Pentacles. What was going on in the recent past for Taurus? Mm, Page of Pentacles here. This is like having a new idea about something. Or trying something new in the recent past but you're kicking against something maybe there's a challenge here to fight for what it is that you really want or to fight through um, those negative feelings if you want it fight for it there's room you just have to uh, plan things out and you know it just just keep things structured and in order and and not get ahead of yourself here with that two of pentacles because the two of pentacles is balanced but there's certain ways that you have to move and certain things that you have to do so that you won't get in over your head right so yeah <coughs> excuse me and then you see we have all these freaking cards. <coughs> Excuse me. That fell out. So let's see what this is. We'll put them back. We have a three of cups energy here. We have a tower here. We have a star. And this basically says it all. I feel like you guys um, may have been like partying or just not even partying, but just going out um, uh, on a friendly level, right? And not necessarily with this person. 
but just going out, kind of having fun, what have you, um, and you met somebody. But what's front and center here is this tower energy. And there was a breakup. There was something that happened. I feel like this is, um, you know, exterior to this situation. But it left sour taste in your mouth here with this tower energy. Something that you felt like was your soulmate. This is somebody that you felt like was your soulmate. So there's somebody lingering too in the back of your head from the past, I feel. <clears throat> But there is somebody new here. And I feel like this old situation with someone is really kind of was keeping you from getting involved too deeply with someone. Could be someone you work with as well. <clears throat> You've had some bad experiences and that those bad experiences um, are making you kind of leery of new experiences, okay? <clears throat> Let's see. Crowning thoughts for and those those cards represented um, Cancer, Scorpio, and Aquarius. <clears throat> you may have had a lot of arguments with somebody that you felt like was your person once upon a time. You may still feel like they're your soulmate, but I feel like that person you're not with. <clears throat> somebody you were really into. Crowning thoughts for Taurus. Three of Wands. You guys, I'm feeling like there's somebody that you're waiting on. Are you waiting for the soulmate? Are you waiting for the person that you felt like was your person, the past person, to come back? And is that why you're not giving somebody else a chance here? Because I feel like there's somebody here, but there's also somebody else that's in the back of your head that you can't escape like you you constantly um, are reminded of them for some reason could be an Aries energy for some of you you're waiting on somebody to come to you hmm. it's coming in oh the hermit is all, you know, is always representative of seclusion, reflecting. But the hermit is looking for the soulmate. I strongly feel like you guys are looking for, and it may be a subconscious thing. It may be something that you guys are saying, no, I'm not, because you don't want to feel like that, because you had so many issues with this person, you had so many arguments with this per person, and you may be feeling like, I do not want them back. But subconsciously, I feel like you guys are looking for a past person that you felt like was the one, and things just kind of went to hell in a handbasket. Virgo energy here. And then under the bottom of the deck, guess what I see? The lovers. Gemini energy there. Hmm. How is Taurus feeling about this situation? How is Taurus feeling about this situation? Oh, the devil. Hmm. You're already connected to somebody. You're connected to somebody here and somebody that I feel like you're still kind of angry, you know, about how a situation played out. Hmm. Capricorn energy. You feel attached. For some reason, you feel like you can't break free of someone else. What is the influence here? Uh, there is a Queen of Cups and a Chariot. Cancer energy. Hmm, I feel like there are um, maybe some same-sex couples here. Uh, maybe some males or somebody that has a lot of masculine energy that's present viewing this reading. But um, 
you're looking for the person that you feel like is the one like not physically going out and looking for this person but i feel like you guys are expecting this person to come back or either you want this person to come back but in your mind you feel like this person has moved on that they're possibly in another relationship even but you do still feel that very strong connection with them <clears throat> oh god look at that queen of wands just flipped out here very attractive individual, very emotional person here, very loving. Um, this person may have a temper or even if they don't have a temper, they can get like out of the box. They can go off to the left, you know, given the right situation. They could be very flip at the mouth, very argumentative um, at times even. Again, that fire energy, Aries, Leo energy, Cancer energy <clears throat> is here. Let's see. Hopes or fears for Taurus. Hopes or fears for Taurus. The Magician. Hmm. Gemini, Ergo energy. I feel Scorpio energy too. But, um... The magician is uh, making shit happen, manifesting shit, thinking about it so that it comes to fruition, right? And that is your hope. That is your hope. There's somebody here that I feel like is interested in you um, and you may have tried to start over with this person but there's somebody else that is still with you that you are having a hard time letting go of and subconsciously i feel like you guys are waiting on this person this is somebody that you felt like you were going to be with okay and still want to make it happen with this person i feel what is the outcome here for taurus outcome for taurus Nine of Pentacles. For the month of July, I still see you remaining single. Um, I feel like the person that you are thinking about, though, is also single. You may not know it. You may feel like they're in a relationship. But I feel like that person is single. I feel like they are um, primarily focusing on themselves. And I feel like this person is still here. You may be waiting on them, but I feel like they're also waiting on you. Yeah. So this situation right here may turn out to just be um, a fling. Okay. So anyway, that is what I have for you. And um, I will be speaking with you guys soon. And this is also Virgo energy here with the Nine of Pentacles, if I didn't already tell you guys. All right. So, yeah.